Apocalypse Gaming. Hey ho folks, um, going to be breaking my rules on this one, on the build it, don't get it painted challenge. Because it's my dad's birthday coming up, so I'm going to be building this and giving him it for his birthday. Um, and it's going to be from Hurst. Going to be building one of these, the octagonal tower. I've built one of these before, no longer have it, it was sold on eBay to get some funds back because I was skint and we needed some money so we sold it. Um, so building one of these for my dad and if I've got enough blocks I'll build one for myself. I don't think I have enough blocks so I'd need to cast more. I did cast some this time but I didn't cast tons. Um, so that's what we're building. Now when you're building this one it's a complicated build and that it's not that easy to line up all the bits. So the best way to do it is A, use the plans, and B, build it in sections. So that's exactly what I'm going to be doing, is you build a section and you link all the sections together, rather than just trying to build it from the ground straight up. So it's build all your sections and then lock those sections together. And that way you know each section is the same size, thus any sanding or whatnot needs to be done, you can do it. So. I'm not going to bore you by doing this all in slow-mo, but we will go over some of the sections and then we can see them joining together and fitting together that way. So, enjoy the build! So, first section I'm going to be building is using four different types of blocks. This will glue, this will glue, rinse and repeat so we end up with four, and what we end up with is one of these. So, not difficult. Use a good PVA, um, stuff that I like a lot, which is relatively cheap, is Hobbycraft's Tacky Glue. Um, it's not an expensive PVA, but it's got a good bond strength. If you can get it though, some of the builder's glues go cheap in your pound stores. Now, I don't use either of the two main pound stores anymore. Um, that's a political decision because they use workfare and I don't believe in white slavery, black slavery, brown slavery, pink slavery, yellow slavery, whatever type of slavery is out there and I don't believe in slavery to make people work for their social security either and that's what that does so I've chosen not to use those guys anymore but they do sell every now and again glues that are going out of date dirt cheap and that's why they've got them some really quality brand glues they've had in, in the past so when they do stop doing this i'll be back in those doors kicking them down to get some of those glues because when they've got them they're good glues so need another set of four one two three four and rinse and repeat so I want that and that's the wrong one that enjoy get a habit of putting the glue on the wrong side when I'm building her stuff but it is basically just Lego with glue because all the blocks are scaled to fit and work together so just straighten everything up make sure it's level if you put the blocks on their back as well it just helps that alignment so I'll then set these aside 
and let it all cure up and dry. So for that type I need seven of them, so I'll press on and make seven. One wee hint for you scenes were early on in the video is take your glue, store it upside down when you're using it. The tacky glue, don't need to put the lid back on because it sits in there without wanting to leak out. Depends on your brand what it will do. But it just means the glue's at the bottom. It's quick and easy to use rather than having it up that way. The glue's at the wrong side for squeezing out. So just a wee quick tip for helping you speed up the process. So next up we need one of these flat flagstone, a one inch block, three quarter inch block and a half inch block to make one of these. So start with our one inch, glue on the top, take our half inch, make sure the flats line up. Press together. Flagstone, put the glue here. Flagstone together and then cap it off with our capstone, which is our three quarter inch. That's that part constructed. Okay, because I'm a little bit brain dead, I can't read instructions and I missed off that angle block from the multiples of these that was building but luckily they just go there so I can go along with the glue and easily attach these life's fantastic yes you're all going to be singing Barbie girl now because our, my wife has done it to me and my boy so I'm taking revenge out on my viewers do 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 Life's fantastic! How many people's unsubscribing as we speak? And has my hater! My hater hit dislike yet! Go on! Do 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 Cause I'm a Barbie girl in a Barbie world Life's fantastic Molding plaster Is it stuck in your head yet? Let's try again do 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 Life's fantastic! Dressed in plastic! Go on, somebody correct me, give me the real world words. There we go. Error fixed. Now we enjoy your Barbie worlds. Do 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 do. So another pre-glue we need to do is one of the arches. It's actually just one glue blob, but trust me, do your pre-gluing because it will make this construction easier. Because otherwise you're going to have bits sliding, slipping all over the place. So that's it. But set that aside and let it dry up and glue. Or dry up and cure even. So skipping just slightly ahead of the instructions simply because I've got these sitting out 
is I'm going to pre-glue the arrow slits before sliding back and pre-gluing some other areas. So again, please, 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 if you are building one of these, do the pre-gluing. Do it, it helps. So, arrow slits look just like that. I need to do eight of them. Right, so the next bit in the correct order of gluing together for the pre-builds is this, which is going to be layer six. And it's just these various blocks, which you put onto the sheet that you've printed out that Hearst supplies um, on their website. Make sure when you print these, you print them at 100% scale. If you print them as 100% scale, your blocks fit exactly on the plan. If you don't and your margins adjust, you might end up with this slightly out of scale. Um, so that's what you do. So I'll just be gluing all these together as per what we see there. So the big lesson for this section is when you've done this, walk away. Don't start putting pressure on it and don't start thinking if I just push that little bit there, get it lined up so that those inner lines match up, walk away, let the glue set. Doesn't matter what your family's talking about, doesn't matter what's going on, pay attention to this, otherwise you do it. I didn't go, no, 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 and destroy the lot as it goes flying across the fucking table. So, concentrate solely on this, doesn't take long, dead quick, but then don't, oh, whilst looking elsewhere, start adjusting and twisting because it just goes, <laughs> and you need to do it again. And apparently I sound like no cat or whatever that is. So just the same theory again, but this time with different blocks. Take your blocks, position and glue. It obviously work from the centre out. So that's layer one done. Again, I suggest let this bit cure up before you go on and put your next layer around it because otherwise, from experience, these will want to slide all over the place and you'll be left with an even bigger mess trying to sort it all out. So get it lined up with the lines. Make sure you're happy, everything's within it. All the way around and then walk away. Walk away and let it cure. And I really should have stopped before I demonstrated because I had it all lined up. I was just trying to demonstrate the, the idea of things might not be lined up and then I pushed it all out of alignment. And we really need this bang on, otherwise the further out we get, the further out of alignment it gets. So that looks like it's sorted again. Okay, so still getting my centre section there drying, but I've laid out the rest of the blocks we'll need, so when that's dry, next layer, final layer. I've also got the centre section of this layer drying, followed up by the rest of the blocks we'll need, so they'll line up perfectly, again just using the grid. And this is the next layer that I'm going to be working on. Again, just so everything lines up, please, please, please use the guides that Hearst supplies. And it's three types of block that will just go around following the plan. So it's the corner, the half inch, and the three quarter of an inch block. All line up, and we go around in a nice circle. Okay, next pre-builds, we've got two. We take three of these blocks, oops, get them on this camera, three of these blocks, glue them together and make six of them, which I've got up there. And then, similar idea, we're taking four of these blocks, which is the angle, taking our arch piece, and taking one of our flat flags, same on the other side 
and gluing these all together. I need eight of them. So these centre layers will be dry enough now for me to go in and glue together these outer layers so that's just exactly what I'm going to do. Again you don't need to watch me gluing on camera, just join them together and fit in the plan. Simple as. I'll leave them to set, then do that layer. So both centre layers are now drying. Once they are dry, these external blocks will go on. Something I failed to do despite the recommendations on a different build wasn't this, can't remember what it was, retrospectively had to go and do it, is once these are all dried, get some cardboard, just thin cardboard, they suggest off a cereal box, so that's how thin a card will do. Glue this down onto it and cut it out and it just adds a structural layer, a very thin structural layer to keep these all together so if you put any pressure on it it's unlikely to give and the pieces fall out so it's well worthwhile doing. I think it was a bridge that I did that with and thought I don't need the card, it was something and I think it was a bridge, it could have been one of these I'm not sure but either way put your card underneath to give you the structural strength just all the way across. Apocalypse Gaming.